Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru. Friends, uh, I have been receiving requests to create a, a detailed video on electromagnetic clutch for gas turbine. So I am creating this video whereby we will explain how the clutch works. And uh, the clutch cannot be described in isolation without gearbox and the fuel pump. So we will briefly cover the gearbox as well as the uh, varan pump which is supplying liquid fuel to the gas turbine. So let us understand a brief on accessory gearbox, then electromagnetic clutch and then varan pump. Welcome friends to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. Friends, I am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and I used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers. We also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends. So if you want to reach us, you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes. Let us continue to watch our today's video. So friends, uh, uh, first we have to understand how the gearbox and gas turbine are uh, positioned in an actual situation in a plant. I understand that most of you are already knowing this uh, situation. So uh, again, uh, uh, then also I am covering this uh, just to make sure that everyone understand and there are new engineers or beginners also so they can also understand so very beginning uh, there is a starting device this one is a starting device this can be a, this can be a, a diesel engine or a electrical motor both options are there it depends upon uh, how our plant configuration is based on that it may be a different device. So uh, now the starting motor gives, uh, there is again a clutch, uh, let us not uh, confuse, here also there is a clutch which engage or disengage this is starting device with respect to uh, gas turbine speed. So this is called starting clutch so here uh, uh, we will explain this in a different uh, video uh, we will now focus on this clutch only so this is a starting clutch we can ignore for some time now so this uh, starting device is coupled with the clutch and give that power to gearbox and fit uh, from gearbox that uh, uh, torque or power goes to gas turbine and then gas turbine starts up after that startup, uh, uh, there is a uh, this this gets disconnected, and then the gas turbine operate this ACC accessory gearbox, and this gearbox is a very uh, large uh, and complex equipment whereby all of uh, gas turbine uh, accessory are driven through this gearbox. And they, in, on, on this gearbox only there is a shaft which drives the liquid fuel pump. Uh, many a places G gas turbine uses this Varan manufactured pump. So it is known as Varan pump. So there is, you, you, if you understand, uh, gas turbine mostly operate on gas or liquid. So if we are operating on gas, then there is no requirement of this pump. So this has not to be operated. So that is why this at this time this clutch will be disengage. Disengage when you are operating on gas fuel. But let's say you want to start operating on uh, liquid fuel then what it has to be? It has to be engaged. This class has to be engaged when you operate on liquid fuel. So 
if you put a permanent mechanical uh, coupling sort of thing then you cannot do this engage and disengage of operation so for that you need a clutch wherein in some situation it get engage and in some situation it may disengage also so that is why the requirement of this electromagnetic clutch is there whereby you operate based on your requirement and uh, you can disconnect when you don't need it so uh, if you can see this particular equipment this is the gearbox which we were talking about in the previous slide so let us understand this also in a uh, quickly so this is clutch uh, assembly which is used in startup right so it start the gas turbine and uh, 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 once the startup is there this clutch is disengaged from this side so starting device is disengaged now your gas turbine is connected through and whatever speed gas turbine is operating the shaft is operating on that speed right and this shaft is transferring speed or power to another shaft and like that so it gets uh, transferred to other different different shaft and you have your main oil pump mounted on the shaft you have your uh, hydraulic oil pump mounted on the shaft like that there are other things as well so now you have another uh, let's say we we uh, uh, take this example of electromagnetic clutch so this is mechanically coupled all the time here there will be your uh, uh, varan pump so this clutch is mechanically connected to varan pump but here here there is a electromagnetic arrangement there will be lot of coils which may energize or de-energize according to the electrical signal there is a solenoid called 20 cf which gives required uh, signal to get it energize or de-energize so if it is energized there will be a magnetic field created this side there will be winding and in those winding create a magnetic field when you want to this clutch to engage and if you supply electric current and create magnetic field this side so the other side of the shaft which is stand still now get hooked up to the other side of the clutch and then this shaft also start rotating at the speed by which this shaft was rotating earlier so that is why this portion is uh, uh, kind of uh, flexible for movement with the turbine shaft or not so if you see this picture it is the actual installation so this part this part is your gearbox right which you can see the larger part on the gearbox and this part is your uh, the shaft which is going to your liquid fuel pump so this shaft hope you are able to see my cursor or pen's movement is this shaft right this if i mark a star here so this is again a star here so this shaft and now you can see different plates these are the plates where these magnetic fields are created and once the fields are created there is an empty space and this plate gets stuck to this this part so that is how your mechanical power which was already there now the clutch plates are stuck to it with the electromagnetic force and then the power is transferred to this shaft as well uh, hope you have understood if not i am uh, taking another uh, clear uh, statement to make it explain so this is gearbox where already the mechanical 
power in this with respect to speed of turbine is coming and now you have your clutch where there is a clutch plates in disengage position when there is no electro uh, magnetic field now let's say you want to operate your machine on liquid fuel then uh, the signal goes from turbine uh, control system to this clutch and uh, there is a magnetic uh, electric uh, current flowing in the winding and that creates magnetic field and with uh, uh, the force of that magnetic field these clutch plates are engaged in the, the other side of the clutch where there is a already uh, rotation or power is there so then this shaft gets power with respect to uh, the turbine other shaft and then it gets rotating so this is a basically uh, kind of uh, situation where the field is created and the clutch is engaged and once you don't want to run the gas turbine on liquid fuel the magnetic uh, electrical uh, current which is going to create that magnetic field is cut off and your clutch plates are uh, withdrawn which was hold against a spring so spring action takes them back and uh, uh, once there is a no uh, no magnetic field uh, the it goes retracts by the spring action which is there so i am just having a picture two three pictures here from the actual plant where i can explain so this position is let's say uh, if i mark it number 1 number 1 in uh, here this position so this is magnetic clutch and uh, here the same position it is gearbox here uh, this shaft which is number 2 and number 2 is connected here uh, this picture is not very clear but you can see this is the gearbox in the background and here the this shaft goes to this is a varan pump liquid liquid fuel pump so this pump is connected through this clutch and clutch is connected to gearbox that is how this pump is drawing power and based on requirement only this pump runs so clear there is a gearbox on gearbox there is a clutch clutch normally keeps on disengage position and these clutch plates are retracted based on spring spring action and when there is a electric field this spring action whatever there is a force this for force is overcome by the electromagnetic force and these clutch plates are engaged and that is why this uh, shaft starts rotating and this shaft start to have uh, your liquid fuel pump which also starts rotating so hope i have uh, tried to explain and uh, this is a simple image when you cannot see this in uh, a real uh, uh, once the turbine is in operation or uh, uh, the clutch is box up so you will see this kind of casing where you can see this is uh, the parting plane blue blue part which you can see here is that blue part so uh, uh, right now uh, the top part is fixed in this case the top part is open so that you can see and this is that wire which uh, goes for uh, the your electromagnetic signal so this is how the clutch uh, keeps operating in a, a gas turbine uh, system so hope you have understood it and if you have any questions please write it in comment box i will try to answer and if you have like this type of content please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching